All right, it's time to share some analytics, and Splunk is great at storing time. Now, wouldn't it be awesome if we had something that allowed us to, if we have commonly occurring, relatively consistent things that occur over time, wouldn't it be awesome if we could actually visually see that? In comes the time wrap command. Let's go see this in example, make it really simple. If we take, I've got an index of Corelight. These are connection logs. Basically, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to uh, see how many are coming in. So I'm going to write this little time chart. I'm going to give me a count of all the events, break it up into little buckets of one day. And then I'm going to put this little pipe, time wrap one week. You could do one week, one day, one month, depending on how far you want to go back. So the concept is, if I were to extend this out to, say, 30 days, this would break it up into right here would break it up into 30 different buckets spanned one day apart using the time wrap i'm going to compare one week to another week and so if i were to run this this is actually the way the results would look i'm going to shrink this down a little bit now that i don't, you don't have to read it and it's going to stack what is the here's the logs from four weeks ago three weeks ago two weeks ago one week ago latest week and it's just basically counting how many events we can see that these are all about the same and all of a sudden this week we just have a massive uh, this is a little bigger difference this last week definitely isn't following the same trend some of the others here we can see we definitely had a spike that's a little odd but anyway it allows me to real quickly see uh, time trends it's going to stack the same data it's going to compare it says wednesday february 8th but it's going to be wednesday of Three weeks ago, Wednesday of two weeks, Wednesday of one week, Wednesday of the latest week. Really sweet process to uh, visualize these really quickly. You can use this for any sort of a time based. You're going to want to use it with a time chart. Uh, let your memory, uh, let your uh, imagination uh, give you directions. Uh, anyway, hope this was helpful. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep doing these daily. All right, take care.